guys welcome to my channel today we are going to be installing some lights in my yard this is going to be an easy DIY I am going to show you how you can install some lights into your yard just come with me and my son as we show you okay so stay tuned okay guys so here are the lights that we are planning to install in the front yard Okay guys, so we have these little lights that I am going to show you how we're going to put them in the ground. And these are LED, so they operate by um, electricity. I am going to be plugging this up in my outdoor plug, my electric socket outdoor. And it comes with a little um, switch where you can cut it, where it will automatically cut on and off. Um, it has a sensor on it that um, lets the lights know when it's day out time and it'll cut it off and then when it gets dark outside they'll come on so that's pretty exciting we're gonna put these in the ground today so come with me as me and my son show you how we install these outdoor lights so step one is to screw the stake into the base and so they give you three options for length length and so you just choose the option that you want. They have an extender to make it a little longer. So my son right now is just screwing the stake into the base. And this is what the final result looks like for the stake in the base. Okay, my son is about to put the cap, the top part of the lamp. He's, this is the next step, is to screw this part onto the lamp. Okay, once you screw it on, um, show them what the lamp actually looks like. Ooh, pretty so so exciting okay so let's move on to the next step okay so one of the instructions told us to put the stake part into the height um, bar but what we found was we couldn't stick the electricity cord through so we end up having to take it apart that's what my son is doing now so that he could feed the electricity cord through the stake and the height adjuster so that he can then connect it to the lamp post. So that is what he's doing now. He's just making sure that he gets the um, height adjuster nice and snug against the um, stake. And then he's steadily feeding the um, electrical wire through. And there he has the electrical wire. And then he's just gonna connect the two pieces together. Very easy peasy. And then once he connects the two pieces together, he's just going to secure it with the uh, with a screw cap. Very easy peasy. And then now he's going to secure the actual height adjuster to the lamp itself. He's just feeding that electrical wire through, and then he is now screwing the height adjuster to the actual lamp. And here is one finished lamp nice okay guys so our next door neighbor in his tree he has a nest of red cardinals i thought i would share with you all some of the beauty um that we witnessed while putting the lamps together and that is this red cardinal okay guys so now we have all of the lights all set up and ready to install let me show you how we plan to do the electrical work it's going to be so easy so just stay tuned okay guys so this is probably the most complicated step this is where we're going to connect the wire that's going to feed into the power cord and also feed into the electrical wire that went to the lamp so here are the cords and i'm going to show you step by step how we achieve running this cord um to the lamp and also to the power cord okay so each lamp should have this sort of system right here and this is going to puncture into that um electrical wiring that's going to connect to the power cord okay so let us show you how it is done okay so the first thing you want to do is unscrew the cap the part that says top and then you want to take out the part that's going to actually um, cut into the electrical wiring. And this is what that part looks like. So this is actually going to penetrate the electrical wire. Um, and then on the inside of the cap is this adapter where the wire is going to be nice, snug, and secure. So we put that intermediate electrical wire inside that um, fitting so that it's nice and snug as you can see. 
And then we added the piece that's actually going to penetrate that intermediate wire back into the system. And then we put the screw cap back on it. Now here's the trick. You want to make sure that you secure the cap nice and snug enough that it will actually push those two um, penetrating teeth into the wire. And you want to make sure that you evenly penetrate each um, lamp the same so that each light has the same intensity. Okay, now you want to put your light into the ground by gently putting the stake into the ground. Please do not put any force onto the lamp light itself. If you need to loosen the soil, please use a shovel or some water. We used water and the stake went in nice and smoothly. Okay, guys, so we also bought some lighting from um, the Dollar Tree. Yes, we got some solar lights from the Dollar Tree that operates by attracting all of the energy from the sun and putting it into the solar panel. And then at night, it's going to light up. So let me show you the lights that we got from the Dollar Tree these solar stake lights now these operate by the solar panels that are on, that is on the top of the um little light so it's going to absorb all of the sun and then hopefully light up at night and i got these items from the dollar tree so each light was only a dollar and hopefully it works um and i'm going to um install them today and we'll find out tonight if they actually light up hopefully it'll get enough sunlight it is the afternoon so I wouldn't have given it enough time to actually um, get enough energy but we'll see what happens tonight okay guys so we initially put the lights in a bucket it was the afternoon so we knew it wouldn't get as much light as we wanted it but we wanted it to get some light so we just put it in the bucket sitting upright while we installed the other lights in hopes that it would get enough energy so that it will light up a little bit at night Okay, guys, so because these lights just operate based off of the solar energy from the sun, it requires no electrical work, so you just stick them straight in the ground. Okay, guys, so we got all of our lighting in the ground. I also bought this hummingbird mix and hummingbird feeder so that we can attract some hummingbirds. And I also got this from the Dollar Tree, so every item, the hummingbird mix and the actual feeder itself was only one and this stuff is supposedly all natural um, and really good for hummingbirds. It contains no preservatives or artificial color. It's really easy to set up. All you have to do is pour that pack into the feeder, put some water in there, and hang it out in a tree. So this is what my son is doing now. He's just hanging the hummingbird feeder in the tree. And it looks so pretty. And hopefully we will get some hummingbirds. Okay, guys, so it is getting a dark here in Chicago. So I just wanted to show you the lights that I got from the Dollar Tree. The solar lights, oh my gosh, they have lit up. These came from the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar, guys. How cute is this? So, so nice. So, so excited. So, so happy. And again, this one has um, lit up. And I got this one um, from Family Dollar last year, and it still works. The one in the back is not working. I'm going to figure that one out tomorrow and see what's wrong. But this one is still working, and it's so pretty. So, so excited about my finds at the Dollar Tree. Again, each solar light was only one buck. Okay? So, remember this little fencing was only a dollar. And now I have the little lighting out here for only one buck. Super, super exciting. Okay, guys. And here are the lights that my son and I put out um, earlier today. Look at how gorgeous, how beautiful these lights look. And it was very easy to put together, an easy a DIY. Um, we did this on our own very very pretty not only is it giving my outside a little bit of light but it's giving it some curbside appeal guys very very beautiful so i'm super super excited in fact i'm gonna step outside of my gate so you can see the curbside appeal okay guys that curbside appeal and we did end up putting seven lights out here and it wrapped all the way around to our backyard um, so very, very pretty. 
here are two of the solar lights that we got from the Dollar Tree that I just placed alongside the little fencing that I had got from, um, it was either Lowe's or Home Depot, but very, very pretty. Adding some more curbside appeal to my home. So, so excited. I can't believe how well these things are lighting up and they only cost one buck. Every single one of the six solar lights that I bought from the Dollar Tree worked. No problems at all easy installation it comes with the stake all you have to do is just stick it in the ground and pull that orange sticker so that it can pull all of that solar energy from the sun and then look voila very very pretty i am so so happy i think today's diy was definitely a success Okay, so I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. We had such a good time installing those lights. Not only did we learn a lot, it was a great bonding experience for me and my son to get out here and install those lights together. And I am so thrilled that not only the lights work because we set up the electricity property pro properly, but also the lighting that we got from the Dollar Tree, every single one of them worked. So please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload and if you are an existing subscriber i appreciate your support thank you so very much and i will talk to you all soon